In this week's video, we head out to the West McDonald Ranges where I explore Simpsons Gap, a prominent gap in the West McDonald Ranges that has a permanent water hole. Simpsons Gap has a spiritual importance to the Aratini people who inhabited the region for centuries. It is known to them as Rangachapa and is the home to their giant Goanna ancestors, as well as being a setting for numerous Dreamtime stories. Can't wait to explore this place and see what kind of images I come away with. Wow, bucket list tick. Another one to add. I've wanted to come here for quite some time now, seeing a lot of images shot, shot from this location. And these amazing, these gorgeous old ghost gum trees up and down this dry riverbed. And then further back in the Simpsons Gap, back up in there. So yeah, come to Simpsons Gap. Uh, it's about uh, 15 minutes out of Alice Springs. I've come uh, just now before sunset, brought the family out here uh, to, they're up, up in the uh, gorge itself, just uh, through the rocks there, exploring it. Um, and we're down here at Alice Springs uh, for some Christmas shopping. Um, we live five hours north of here, uh, one way, so we came down here spending two days here, doing a lot of Christmas shopping as it's a major town, Alice Springs. Uh, it's got all the things you need, all the all the shops and malls and what have you, but um, wasn't really planned as a photography trip, although somehow my photography gear got in the car as we left. So yeah, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone and make a quick video um, and come out here. And it's more of a recce video. I'm gonna come back down here probably next year as it gets a little bit cooler and spend a week here and just explore this national park, uh, West McDonald Ranges and the history, steep in history, uh, all this part of uh, Australia, Central Australia, especially uh, the McDonald, um, West McDonald Ranges, as I said, and Simpsons Gap. But yeah, After, like uh, the video or the vlogging just does not do it justice. You have to see this place with your own eyes. And uh, it's just, I uh, can't explain it. Yes, yeah, already seen some wildlife. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear this noise. It sounds exactly like a drone just over your head. Really annoying. <laughs> uh, it's these cicadas, I believe, in this tree, this ghost gum tree just here. So also, also quite a big lizard in there, darting around. I think he's trying to capture them, capture them to eat them. But um, 
yeah, he's buggered off now, so I was going to film him, but I can't see him anymore. Uh, and also on the rocks, all the boulders back up in here as we got in, were some black-footed rock wallabies. Um, so a wallaby's a uh, smaller version of a kangaroo, and a rock wallaby uh, lives on the rocks here, and it bounces around, it's at home, looks a bit like a gummy bear, uh, bouncing all over the rocks. It was uh, two of them. I tried to film them, but they're quite shy, so uh, they're not there anymore. If I see another one, I'll, I'll whip out the camera and see if I can uh, video them. But yeah, sunset, a lot of cloud rolling in, unfortunately. I'm only here, I'll leave tomorrow, so come down here for a recce. Uh, I'm gonna get some classic dose gum trees up here in this dry riverbed, like I said. Uh, one to the vlogging camera here is absolutely gnarly and magnificent. Then you got these two, uh, there's another couple back up in here. So I'll see how it goes. Um, I was hoping that it wouldn't be any cloud for once uh, and just get some nice uh, light in here and light up all this rock formation, but uh, it's not gonna happen. And I'm gonna set up just here, as I have done, sorry, and see what I kind of image I can come away with and uh, maybe plan it when I come for next time where to shoot. And uh, a lot more ghost gum trees back down the, the, the river here, but they're sort of not very interesting with this background in here. So yeah, just gonna wait for the light to change and I hopefully come away with a nice image. I'm gonna come away with it, some images, but um, everywhere I look, can't pick it up on all those wildlife here where there's uh, these beautiful bright green parrots now all on this tree here and a couple more big lizards back in here. And there's supposed to be quite a few dingoes in this park too, but um, I doubt we'll see any. And of course the usual snakes and what have you, but yeah. All right, enough, uh, enough rambling on. Let's set up a composition and wait for that light. So this is a tree I was uh, mentioning, it's the left hand side of the vlogging camera, the big gnarly uh, gum tree. Uh, now I'm just going to wait for the light I think, if it happens, uh, if not, it doesn't matter, I'll take an image of, of it anyway, but uh, just for reference for next time I'm here. But yeah, you've got this uh, gnarly tree to the, to the left hand side of the frame sprawling out and then I'm led through just underneath here up through the uh, valley here, uh, anchored off with a couple more uh, gum trees up through there. I'm just playing around with focal length. I'm gonna shoot 16 by nine. Um, see how we go. But um, yeah, just don't think the light's gonna play ball this afternoon, but never mind. When it does happen, if it does, uh, sun sinks, I'm gonna shoot this image here, probably a wide, 16 by 9 like I said and then maybe a, a tighter crop and um, I'm then I'm going to work up towards these other uh, gum trees here and yeah see what kind of images I come away with I'm just uh, scouring see what else uh, I can shoot a lot more ghost gum trees down the valley there but there's no not interesting backdrop whereas here you've got these red rocks which I uh, hopefully make a or just image later. Hey, I should just hang about, wait for that uh, sunset. So yeah, the clouds have really come in, killed that light, unfortunately, um, but it's just about coming out here and having a look, never been here before, and it's stunning, and I'll definitely be back in a few more months, it's just the beginning of uh, winter, I'll come down here, the light would be a lot more softer uh, in this valley here. I did manage to do a pano, sweeping portrait pano, five shot, so it's probably might be the image of the, the afternoon. Uh, I'll have a look, but again, nothing great. Uh, light, light, like I said, the light's not good at all. Uh, so it's not lighting up these these uh, rocks. But I'll hang around for 10 more minutes. Never leave too early. 
that's uh, cardinal sin in landscape photography. Every time you think, nah, I'll go, uh, it kicks off. So I'm going to hang around. I'll chuck this panel up. And um, yeah, you never know, but it looks like it's too much cloud. Anyway, here's this pano, and um, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Give it five more minutes. So like I took my own advice here and hung around, I'd stopped vlogging at the stage, um, just uh, sort of hanging around with the family and talking. And then uh, the clouds started to catch uh, the, the sinking sun and all turned pink. So I quickly got the camera back out and shot back up uh, Simpsons Gap with that uh, famous white ghost gum tree and some nice cloud in behind it. And then I turned around, looked down the valley of the dry riverbed here and uh, saw a clump of um, gum trees again with the uh, sunset behind it. And I thought these were made pretty good images um, or better than uh, the earlier images I caught. And yeah, really can't wait to get back here. But yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, sorry about the uh, images, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, be sure to uh, like, leave a comment, and if you're new, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next adventure. Have a good week, guys. See you later.